Holiday stories will be told at the Family Storytime on Tuesday, December 10th at 7 p.m. in the Library Story Corner. Enjoy the antics of the Minikin puppets in their jolly holiday review on Saturday, December 7th at 1 p.m. at the Katie Geisert Civic Center Library. On Wednesday, December 11th at 4 p.m., Alina Mendez will take you south of the border with Christmas in Mexico at the North Torrance Branch Library. Get ready for 2003 at the Henderson Branch Library on December 31st from 2 to 4 p.m. making your very own calendar. And the fun will continue into the new year. And if you missed making your calendar in December, you can come to the Henderson Branch Library on January 2nd from 2 to 4 p.m. Learn how to make your favorite cartoon characters by using letters and numbers on Friday, January 10th at 4 p.m. in the Katie Geisert Civic Center Library. Wacky Wednesday begins again at the North Torrance Branch Library on Wednesday, January 15th at 4 p.m. with a very important visitor, Abraham Lincoln. Wacky Wednesday will continue with story craft activities on January 22nd and 29th. School-aid children are invited to participate on the third annual chess club at the North Torrance Branch Library on Tuesdays from January 14th through March 18th at 4 p.m. There, the North High School Chess Club will teach you the basic skills and cool tricks of the game. And for more information, contact the Torrance Public Library at 618-5964. Hey, boys and girls! That's it for our show today. Remember to love your family. Have a happy day. Anybody know what it says? Anybody? Anybody know what it says, Nathaniel? Safety. Safety. Yes, yes, safety. That is our treasure today. And does anybody know what safety means? Anyone? Uh, Jacob? Making sure that you're safe and not doing bad things like do something your parents don't tell you, t tell you not to do. That's right. It means you're not going to get hurt. How about you? Um. Wearing your helmet when you're skateboarding. That's a good, now, for safety, practicing safety. How about you, Tiffany? Um, not running around the swimming pool. <gasps> yes, now, what about the word? Does anybody know what the word safety means? I know. You do? I think I know. Okay, 
It means when you're having safety, it means you're being safe and you won't get hurt. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you know, all those answers that you gave on how to practice being safe, those are good answers. Yeah! Safety means protection. It means staying away from danger. There are a lot of things that we can do to stay safe, like wearing the seatbelts when we're in the car, obeying your parents. And what are some other ways that we can stay safe? Anybody? You guys had some good answers. Yes? Um, don't talk to strangers or play outside all alone when no one's watching. That is right. That's a very good idea. How about you? Don't open doors to strangers. You know, you guys must have already know what kind of story I'm going to read today. Because I'm going to tell you a story about three little pigs and they were trying to learn how to not open their doors to strangers. Are you ready to read it? Help me tell the story, Happy? Yeah! And are you guys ready to help me tell the story today, too? Yeah! Okay, here's my special book. Let me just turn to the page. Okay, everybody get ready. <coughs> Clear your voices. <coughs> so I'm going to need you to say stuff. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read you a story. It's called The Three Little Pigs. Okay? These, and you know what, these pigs, they were very smart, just like you boys and girls, because they were in danger and they made good decisions. Okay, ready? Oh, good decisions that made them safe. Well, wait a minute, you mean they could have gotten hurt? Yes, but they didn't. So you ready to hear? Yeah! Okay. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. And since she was too poor to care for them, she sent them away to make a better life for themselves. They had to leave their house? Yes. The first little pig went, and he met a man with a bundle of straw. Please, hey. mister, said the pig, may I have some straw to build a house? Hey, I was just going to ask you, Shell. I yep. didn't know you could build a house with straw. Well, you know, the man gave him straw, and the little pig built his house. Then a wolf came along. And you know what? He knocked. Oh, perfect. And the, at the door, and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Perfect. The little pig said, no. No! Not by the hair of my... Chinny chin chin. Because he knew that he should never open the door for strangers. That's right. So the wolf said, Then I'll huff, huff. and I'll puff, huff. and I'll blow yeah. your house down. And the wolf he did. He huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. But the little pig ran away. I would too. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks. Please, sir, said the pig, give me those sticks to build a house. And the man gave him the sticks. And the little pig built his house out of sticks. Then the mean wolf came. Uh-oh, because sticks are no good either. Right. And he knocked at the door. And he said, little pig, little pig, let, let me, me come in. in. Say no, say no. And the little pill, what did he yell back? No. Not no. by the hair of my chin, chin, chin. So the wolf said, then I'm going to huff ha, ha, and huff ha, ha, and blow your house down. And the wolf, he did it. He huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. And at last, the house came tumbling down. But the second little pig, he ran away too. I would too. The third little pig, he met a man with a load of bricks. Hey, now you're talking. Please, man, said the pig. Give me some bricks to build a house. Yeah. So the man did. And the third little pig built his house. What do you think happened? Do you think that the same guy came to visit him? Yeah. 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 And he did. The mean old wolf came. Oh, and he knocked no. at the door. Not again. Not again. Yes. And this is what he said. What did he say, you guys? Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And what did the pig say? No. Not by the hair of my chin, chin, chin. So the wolf said, then I'll huff. 
and I'll pop, and I'll blow your house down. So the wolf, he did it. He huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. But he did not blow the house down. It was the brick. You go, little pig. <laughs> yes. So the pig, you know what he did? What? He went and he ran and he called 911. Yeah. And the police came and took the wolf <laughs> away. I'm <laughs> glad that that good policeman got that bad wolf. I'm glad, too. What do you think would have happened if the pigs would have opened the door? They would have gotten eaten. Yeah. Yeah, they could have gotten eaten or Maybe stolen dinner. or something like that. I they probably... Have would not be safe with yeah. them. Yeah. They'd probably be dinner. Be yeah, dinner. dinner to the wolf. Now, do you guys ever open, you guys, do you guys know not to open your house to yeah. stranger? Sorry. My yeah. mommy I told me never to open, open the door for someone I don't know. That's right. Has anybody else's mom told them the same thing? Yes, uh -huh. Ashley? Um, my mom told me not to open the door because um, no one's going to come. There you go. Well, you know, my mommy told me never to open the door for someone I don't know. That is really good advice, Happy. Yeah. No one should open the door for strangers. And since today's treasure is safety, a special guest from the Torrance Police Department is going to give us some safety tips. Who? Officer Keasley. Ooh, cool. Okay. Hi, I'm Services Officer Christine Keasling, and I'm going to talk to you about some safety tips. It's important to ask your parents' permission before you ever go anywhere. Make sure that they know exactly where you're going to be. And practice the buddy system. Make sure that you play with a friend or another family member. If you're ever approached by a stranger and they try to offer you gifts, candy, or ask you to go somewhere with them in their car, or ask you to help them find a lost pet, remember to always say no. And then go tell a trusted adult that a stranger approached you. If you're ever in a store and you get separated from your parents, try to find the closest salesperson or go to a cash register. You can identify somebody that works at the store by a uniform. Let that person know that you're lost and they can help you find your parent. Whenever you're riding your bicycle or skateboard, remember to protect the most important part of your body, your brain and always wear a helmet. When you're riding in a car, you should be in the back seat, in a child safety seat, or wearing a seat belt. Thanks, and remember to stay safe. Thank you for sharing with us, Officer Kingsley, and we'll see you next time. And remember kids, stay safe. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye! Oh, well, looks cool. Yeah. You know, the viewers at home and I were just looking for something safe to do. Well, this is pretty safe. Do you want to join us? Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, let's get moving. Okay, well, let's get moving. Are you guys ready to get yeah. moving? Yeah. Cool. Are you guys ready to get moving? Yeah. Right, cool. Well, first, before we start dancing, we have to do our stretches. So we're going to start with our feet apart like this. We're going to put our hands up like this, and we're going to lean back and stretch our abdominals. <laughs> Hello back there. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> now, we're going to make our toes point out like this. We're going to put our hands on our knees like this. Push those knees out. Push those knees out. And we're going to do the sumo wrestler. Go! Sumo wrestler. Sumo wrestler. Sumo wrestler. Sumo wrestler. Cool. Shake your knees out. Sumo. Shake your knees out. Shake your knees out. Put your feet together. Shake your feet out. Shake those feet. Cool. Shake your hands out. Shake your hands. 
hands out. Shake your head out. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Cool. Well, here's the first step that we're going to do. This is the roly poly. We're going to start with our feet out like this. We're going to put our hands in the air and we're going to roll twice up. One, two. Then we're going to put them down and we're going to roll down. Okay? Now, you can do it like this if you want to. You can do it like this if you want to. But this is much more fun if we go like this. Woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That was pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Cool. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three, four. Now, on the next one, we're going to jump together with our feet. And we're going to do the exact same hands. We're going to go five, six, seven, eight. All righty. So we go feet apart. Two roly-polies up, two roly-polies down. We're going to jump together and do two roly-polies up and two roly-polies down. Yeah? Cool. Let's try it. Are you ready? Beginning pose. And here we go. Go one, two, three, feet together. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, that was pretty good. Are you guys yeah. ready to do it with the music? Sure. Cool. I can turn yeah. on the music. Thank you so much. Just a minute. All righty. Okay, you guys, get ready, because we're going to start with getting down with our bad self. Are you ready? Cool, get down with your bad self. Hey, hey, get down with your bad self. Get down with your bad self. Uh-huh. A little bit more getting down with your bad self. Ready? Here we go. Roly-poly, let's go. Roly-poly up. Roly-poly down. Roly-poly up. Roly-poly. One more. Roly-poly up. Roly-poly down. Roly-poly up. Roly-poly down. Good. Hey. That was really good. Yeah, just cool. a minute. Hey, just a minute. Hey, let's take the music off. Thank you. Cool. All righty. Yeah. The next step that we're going to do, I call the basketball bounce. All oh. right. This is how it goes. We jump out. Our hand goes across us like this. Reach across over there, and we're going to go bounce the basketball. Bounce the basketball. OK, so four times bounce the basketball. One, two, two three, four. four. Now. We can either do just our arms, or if you really want to have fun, we can do our knees like this. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. So That's we do fun. it all the, way, all the way across. One, two, three, four. And then we switch hands and do it the other way. One, two, three, four. All righty. So, so far in the dance, we have the roly-polies that go up and down. And then we put our feet together, and we go up and down. And then the next thing is the basketball bounce. We jump out, and we go one, one two, two, three, four. four. Switch hands. One, two, two three, four. four. Cool. How many basketball bounces did we do with each hand? One, two, three, four. Four. Cool. Four basketball bounces with each hand. Exactly. Four plus four equals eight. Yeah. yeah. Good. Cool. Are you guys ready to do it with the music? Do you need yeah. music? Cool. Just a minute. I need some music. Get ready, you guys. We're going to get down with our bad self again. Get ready. Here we go. Get down with your bad self. It's called the Jiggy Jumps. <laughs> the what? The Jiggy Jumps. The Jiggy yes. Jumps. Yes. I'll teach it to you the first part we do. We're going to take two jumps that way. Ready? We're going to go jump. One, two. We're going to do two jumps that way. One, two. Hello? Cool. All right. Let's look over here. Try that again. Two jumps that way. We go one. one. Two, two, other way. One, one two. two. Now, here's the fun part. Everyone put your hands like this by your ears. 
Now what I want you to do is start moving your hands around in circles. Circles, and then I want you to start moving your body in circles. <laughs> now, we have to keep doing this when we jump. That's the jiggy jump. We have to go one, two, three, four. Other way, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Let's go, are you ready? Yeah. Go. Jiggy jump, jiggy jump. Jiggy Other jump, way, jiggy, jiggy jump. jump. Jiggy jump. jump. Hey, <laughs> you're good at that. Can we do the music now? Okay, I'm sure we can. Are you okay. ready? Yeah, just a minute. Okay, cool. Let's get ready. Get ready with your bad self. Ready? Go. Here we go. Dance, dance. We're dancing. We're dancing. We're dancing. We're dancing. We're dancing. Give me your hands like this. Hey. Ready? Here we go. Roll yeah. poly. Roll poly. Roly poly, feet together, roly poly. Bounce the basketball, bounce the basketball. Switch your hands, bounce the. Here we go, jiggy jumps, jiggy jumps, jiggy jumps. Out of the way, jiggy jumps, jiggy jumps. Roly poly, roly poly. Good, feet together, roly poly. Good, bounce the basketball, bounce the basketball, bounce the basketball. Jiggy jumps, here we go, jiggy jumps, jiggy jumps. Jiggy jumps, jiggy jumps. Very good, you guys. High yeah, fives. Just a minute. High fives. High fives. High fives. High fives. High fives. High fives. Cool. Thank you. You guys are doing awesome. Okay. One more little last thing. We're gonna do the safe. We're gonna be safe. We're gonna go safe, safe, safe. Clap. Safe, safe, safe. Clap. Can you guys do the safe? Yeah. Right on the baseball. Safe. Let me everybody do safe. 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 Cool. We're gonna do some scoots that way. We're gonna go safe, 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 clap. Safe, 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 clap. Let's do it with the music. Are you ready? Okay. Cool. Cool. Get ready. Get ready to do. Get down with your bad self. Get down with your bad self. next time and don't forget uh -oh. to get down with your bad self. Yeah. Let's get down with our bad self. Here we go. Get down with your bad self. Uh-huh. Let's uh -huh. dance. Let's dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hands in the air. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Good. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here are some fantastic books that you might want to check out from the library about safety. Dinosaurs Beware by Mark Brown. It has a lot of good safety tips in it. Or you might want to read Stomp, Drop, and Roll by Marjorie Kuehler. It's about a little girl who's a real worrywart about safety, and she learns an awfully good tip that you might be able to guess yourself. Stop, Drop, and Roll by Marjorie Kuehler. And the last book is my favorite one, Officer Buckley and Gloria. Officer Buckley has a lot of good safety tips to give out, but nobody ever listens to him until one day the Napville Police Department buys a police dog named Gloria. They make a fantastic team that you'll want to read about in Officer Buckley and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Here at the library, we care about the condition of our books. If you pick up a book that's damaged, the book is messed up. If the pages are loose or torn, then tell your librarian, my book's messed up, before you check it out because a little repair job can get big if no one cares. 
let the wind blow you into the library during the month of March. Come on in! Toddler Time, the story experience for preschoolers, and Family Story Time start a new session for the spring. Registration begins March 24th, and the first meeting will begin the week of March 31st. Call your local branch for more information. Wacky Wednesdays at the North Torrance Branch Library meets at 4 p.m. on March 5th, 12th, and ends March 19th with a rousing visit from Farley the Fiddler. It begins again on April 2nd, featuring the songs and stories of Ken Frawley, no charge to attend. The North Torrance Branch Library also hosts the Chess Club after school at 4 p.m. on Tuesday, March 4th, 11th, and 18th. In honor of Women's History Month, children ages five and up are invited to a colonial tea at the Katie Geisert Civic Center Library, Friday, March 7th at 4 p.m. There's no charge, but registration is a must. Paper Airplane fans, bring your skill and creativity to the Paper Airplane Contest at the Katie Geisert Civic Center Library on Friday, March 21st at 4 p.m. Paper and colors will be provided and all entries must be made at the library. Prizes will be awarded. Drop by any Torrance Public Library and pick up a calendar of events. Just in case something gets scheduled, you won't want to miss it. And for registration and more information, call 618-5964. Hey, boys and girls, that was a great show. Thanks for joining us. Remember, safety first. Always be safe, like me. I'm safe up here on top of this tree because I'm a monkey. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Have a happy day. to be here today. Happy. You're right, Happy's Missy. Where's I Happy? Where's Mama? Oh, you know what? Maybe we should try his name first. Yeah. Should we say his name? Can you guys help me call Kay Happy? Ready? Let's end the count three. One, two, three. Happy! Does anybody Happy. see him? Anybody see him? Anybody no. see him? No? no? You know, Delilah, I think that your idea might work. Let's try it, okay? Can we all say banana at the count of three? Okay. One, One, two, three. Happy! Hi. Uh, um, there you are, Happy. What's We've been going looking on? for you. Well, I was just taking a nap. Oh no, nap! But then I heard the word bananas. Oh, well, I'm glad that you came up because look who's here. Hi, Our boys and girls. Guy. Hey, wait a minute, Shell. Hey, wait a minute. Mm hmm. I've been sleeping. Yeah? I think I might have missed the treasure. <gasps> Happy we wouldn't have gotten our treasure without oh, you. Good, because I was kind of worried. Hey, can yes? I open the treasure chest? I never have opened the treasure chest, I think please. that that is a great idea. Wow. Go ahead and try. Go ahead, open, the, open it up. Ready? You guys ready? You guys want to see a treasure? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Everybody ready for a treasure? Uh, yeah. <gasps> uh, oh, Happy. It's stuck. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. oh, wait, you know what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here, the clasp isn't done. Here it goes. Try again. Ready? Go. It's too heavy. Okay. Uh, okay. I need help. 
Oh, does somebody want to help Happy? Uh, Nathaniel? Can yeah, you I need help. Him? Can you help him? Yeah, that would be, you know, assist him. That's so nice. Okay, He's make sure so the class is undone. Strong. Yeah, I bet he can open it. You guys ready? At the count of three, going to work together. One, yeah. two, three. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Ooh, cool. Whoa, what does it say? Does anybody know what it says? Anybody know what it says? What, Ashley? It says thankfulness. You're right. It says thankfulness. Does anybody know what thankful means? Yeah, sure. What's thankfulness? Well, we're going to, let's see if somebody knows here. Jacob? When, when you get a present, you should always, you should say thank you and be thankful for it. Yes, you're right. That's yeah. Another. Tyler? And, like, you should always be like the, um, like when you get anything, mm -hmm. say thank you and not thank It's, you're right, you know what? It's, it's always good to be thankful and to say thank you when someone gives you stuff, right? You know what, Shell? Yes? He's right. Because mm -hmm. I always say thank you when you give me bananas and stuff. You're does right. that mean I'm thankful? Yes, it does, Happy. You are so thankful, precious. Hey. <laughs> yes? Happy. I like that name. Happy. That's my name. <laughs> that is your name. I like that name. When, pe when people do something for us, you know, I'm going to read a story called The Little Old Woman Who Lived in a Vinegar Bottle. And it's about a little old woman. And she was not very thankful. Uh oh. Are you ready to hear my story? Yeah. You guys ready for a story? Yeah. Oh, let me hear you say you're ready for a story. Are you ready for a story? Yeah. Okay. Ah, here it is. There once was an old woman who lived in a vinegar bottle. A bottle? Why did she live in a bottle? Don't ask me why. It wasn't a common vinegar bottle. It was unusually large, of course. Well, how big? Could she stand up in it? Could she sleep in it? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> but it's still made for a very cramped house. Every day, the old woman would sit on her front step and complain about her house. Oh, what a shame! Just a shame! Just, Just a, a shame! shame. I shouldn't have to live in a house such as this. Why, I should be living in a nice little cottage with a thatched roof and roses growing up the walls. She sounds like a big crybaby to me. Just then, a fairy happened to be flying by. A fairy? Mm -hmm. And when she heard the old woman, she thought, if that's what she wants, then that's what she'll get. What a nice fairy. She was a nice fairy. So she flew over to the old woman and said, When you go to bed tonight, clap your hands three times, close your eyes, and when you open them in the morning, you'll be thankful for what you see. Like this? Hey kids, can you clap your hands three times? Ready? One, One two, two. Great. Yeah. That was perfect. Thank you, Happy. The old woman thought the fairy was joking. But when she went to bed that night, she clapped her hands three times. One, two, three. And she closed her eyes. And in the morning, when she opened them, she was in a wonderful little cottage wow. with a thatched roof and roses growing up the wall. Hey, the fairy was serious. Yeah, and that's exactly what the old woman had asked for. She said, it's just what I've always wanted. How content I'll be living here. But she did not thank the fairy. <gasps> that's bad. You should always say thank you. you know, you're right. Well, the fairy went north and the fairy went south. And the fairy went east, and the fairy went west. She did everything she needed to do. And then the fairy remembered, oh, that old woman. I wonder how she's doing. She must be very happy in her cottage. Yeah. I'll just stop by for a visit. And maybe she could have some cookies and milk with her, huh? That would be nice, huh? But when yeah. the fairy came near, uh -huh. she saw the old woman sitting on her front step. 
smiling. Complaining. No. Just a shame. What a shame. What a shame. I shouldn't have to live in a cramped little cottage like this. I should live in a mansion on a hill with a maid and a butler to serve me. I deserve that. Wait a minute, I thought that that's what she wanted. When the fairy heard that, she was surprised. But she thought, well, if that's what she wants, that's what she'll get. Hmm. So she flew down and told the old woman, when you go to bed tonight, clap your hands three times. Can you do it again? One, One two, two, three. three. Close your eyes. Perfect. And when you open them in the morning, You'll be thankful for what you see. Ooh, that fairy is so nice. She sure is. So she hopped into the bed. The old woman clapped her hands three times. One, two, three. And in the morning when she opened them again, she was on a mansion on a hill. Wow. <laughs> With a maid and a butler to serve her. Oh my goodness, maybe this time she'll thank the fairy. This is just what I've always wanted, said the old woman. How contented I'll be here. But still, she did not thank the fairy. No way! She didn't thank her again? No. Well, the fairy went north, and the fairy went south, and the fairy went east, and the fairy went west. She did all the business she had to do. Then she remembered the little old woman again. I wonder how that old woman is doing. Yeah. The old woman who used to live in a vinegar bottle. She must be very happy in her mansion. But when the fairy came near, she saw the old woman sitting in her velvet chair. Smiling and laughing, huh? Complaining. No! Ready? What a shame! What a shame! What a shame! that I should have to live all alone in this old mansion. I should be queen. I should be living in a palace with, with lots of servants to, and for company and musicians to entertain me. That's what I deserve. She just keeps complaining. For goodness sake, thought the fairy, will she never be content? Well, if that's what she wants, that's not what she'll get. Oh. And to the old woman she said, when you go to bed tonight, clap your hands three times. Come on guys, clap. One, One two, two, three. And in the morning, maybe you'll be thankful for everything that I did. Is she gonna wake up now in a palace? Oh, let's see. The old woman climbed into bed. She clapped her hands three times. One, One two, two, three. She closed her eyes. And in the morning, when she opened them, she was right back in her vinegar bottle. Ah! No palace? I bet she went back to the vinegar bottle because she wasn't thankful. Well, this is what the fairy says. And there she shall stay, said the fairy. If she's not contented here, she won't be content there. After all, contentment comes from the heart and not from things. I'm glad I'm thankful. Me too, Happy. Do you think the old lady, why do you think the old lady forgot to thank the fairy? <coughs> Delilah? Be because she, 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 because she wasn't even thankful. Yeah, she wasn't thankful. Anybody else have an idea? Jacob? Because Whenever she was, she was just about to thank the fairy, but then she thinks, well, before I thank her, I'll get more. Yeah. Before I thank her, I'll get more. Yeah. Before I thank her, I'll get more. That wasn't very nice, was it? What should the old lady have done? Yes, Nathaniel? Um, said thank you to her because at least she gave her a nice roof and some flowers going out of the wall. Yeah. She should have been thankful for at least that. You're right. Anybody else? Yes, Kristen? Mm, she she just thought that if she got a house, another one, she said, I don't need to thank the fairy. I just can't get more. 
Yeah, she yeah. wasn't very thankful at all. We should always thank people when they do something for yeah. us. Yeah. Hey! Yes? Oh my goodness! Yes? I forgot to thank Nathaniel for opening the chest for me. <gasps> thank oh. you, Nathaniel. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're so sweet, Happy. Does anybody else want to share something that they're <laughs> thankful for? Are you thankful for something, Delilah? Yeah. What? I'm thankful that my dog always helps my baby. <gasps> really? Yeah. That is neat. Ashley, is there something I'm you're thankful, thankful for? thankful to be here. <gasps> you're thankful to be here? I'm thankful that you're here too. Me too. Ariana? I'm thankful to be with all my friends here. <laughs> oh, it's, isn't it great to be with our friends? I'm thankful they all woke me up. Oh, happy. I'm so glad you made it. I wouldn't have been able to bear not letting you have that treasure to take home with you. Yeah, and I think I'm ready for some bananas, too. You ready for some bananas? Yeah. Okay. I love you know bananas. what? You guys, um, thank you for sharing and thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Hello boys and girls, welcome to today's craft segment. Today we're going to be making something very special, our own handmade, very colorful thank you notes and letters. Let's see who we have with us today. Kayla. Kristen. Nathaniel. Nathaniel, what special things do we need for our craft today? For today's craft we'll need paper, things to color with like crayons, markers, pencils, things to put on our paper like stickers, we need scissors, glue, stamps, and envelopes. Thank you, Nathaniel. You're welcome. So let's get started. The first step is we take a piece of colorful paper. Let's all take one piece each. Now this piece of paper is what we're going to use to make the letter or note card. It could be any color. And let's use our pens, crayons, and pencils. And think of the person we're going to write to. So what things can we be grateful for at home? What have you received? Did you have a birthday? Did you receive something special? Yes. What did you receive? A ball, a ball is a very special gift. Who can we thank for that gift? For my dad. And your dad. That's a great idea. So pick a color. And what we're going to write is who it's to. So you're going to write to dad, right? Okay. okay. For you, what is something that you received that's very special? A toy. A toy. Who did you receive that from? Mm, my sister. Your sister. That's a great idea. Can we make a card for your sister? Pick any color, and we're going to write her name at the top. Okay. And Nathaniel, what was the gift that you received? I received a watch from my mom. Perfect. Now you pick a pen. So everyone take a writing tool and write who it is to. I actually received a sweater from my aunt. The next step is we're going to thank them for the item that they gave us. Right? Yeah. Yep. So we're going to write, thank you. And if we need help with the writing, that's also OK. You received your gift from who? Your mother? My dad. Your dad. Let's write the word dad together. Let me spell it D-A-D. -D. Right? Good. And we wrote to Aaron and to mom. Okay, the next step is, let's look at all of the fun things we can decorate the piece of paper with. Okay, so everyone has glue. Everyone has scissors. And we wanna make sure that when you're using the scissors to be very careful.
Another step is, is to take a small piece of paper and cut out shapes that we can apply to our main piece of paper, the main letter. We did this earlier and I decided to cut out hearts. What are some other shapes we can cut? Let's use our scissors. You can even cut out a diamond. You can cut out any shape to decorate your paper with. What shapes could we do? We'll do this together. We're doing perfect. 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 We're doing great. Now. This is a fantastic shape that Shayla did. We're going to take this square and put it right on her paper. And we also have a heart. Look at that fun heart. You can also make shapes that are really nothing, but it's just decorative. So I just sort of actually could be a smile or it could be an arc. And I'm going to add that to my paper. And Nathaniel, how are your shapes coming along? Oh, look at this shape. A butterfly. Let's hold up the butterfly. That's fantastic. Excellent. Something that's also fun are little strips. We can all cut a straight line. And what color would you like? And Nathaniel, what color? You can take several. You just take a scissor and cut a straight line, and all of a sudden you have a border. And a border is something that goes all the way around the edge of the paper. You can fold it. and place it right on the edge. While we're doing this, the next step is to take our glue and start gluing down our special shapes. And you can place it anywhere on your page. Where are you gonna put your shape? So let's each glue down a few shapes and then we'll see what it looks like. Next, I'm gonna put my diamond. Another favorite thing to use is stickers. And these could be any stickers. So let's now add some stars to our letters. Welcome. Right in the center. Anytime we receive something, it's this easy to make a thank you note, isn't it? which is very important to thank people. Kristen's doing something really great too. The pens, the pencils, and the crayons that we've also had on the table, we can go back and now color our shapes. We can make a border with the pens or make a design. I've decided to take my orange pen and just make little squiggles right along the edge just to add a little bit of color, just like this. And what Nathaniel's doing is he's actually coloring his butterfly, which is great too, giving it a face. The next step is to write the message. So let's everyone grab a pen or a crayon or a pencil. And what do you think the two most important words are in this message? Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. So let's spell the word thank you together. Let's all write the T. And then the next letter is what? H. H. And the next letter? A. A. You can say it all out loud at home, too. The next letter? N. N. Next? K. K. Think, and then let's look at the next word. Y, Y, O, O, and a U. Now, thank you for, we want to acknowledge the gift they gave us. And this is just an example of a message. You can thank them any way you'd like. I'm gonna thank my aunt for my sweater. It was a red sweater. And as we said before, to do these crafts together at home, 
It's fantastic. Thank you for my, how about my colorful ball? Does that describe it? It does. Fantastic writing. And then the last step is we sign it. Okay, the final step is we're going to take an envelope and a stamp and we're going to mail these letters. We're going to prepare it to be mailed. So everyone, take your piece of paper. We're going to fold it in threes. We're using a big envelope because our card is so big. And the final step is the stamp. And the stamp always goes in the right hand corner. And just put it right on there. Our letters won't get anywhere without a stamp. Great.